Iniesta tries to head towards goal. Matuidi. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Dinks one in. It looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Lucas Moura pumps it into the area. Goal! And some of the best managers I've played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. A great delivery and a finish to match. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Played out to the wing. Now here's the through ball. It's always going to be the keepers. Uh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Matuidi plays a clever pass. Another piece of really good defending. Paris Saint-Germain are already ahead. The perfect start. What a good start to the game. I think their play has been fast and inventive, and, and this is a fine example of early intent. They've begun as they mean to go on, and another goal is on the cards. Neymar. Looks it in gently. Whistle's gone, that for offside. Yes, it is. Tries to dink it in, done very well to intervene. And it's Aurier. Aurier with the ball through. Aurier needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, it looked like there that he was asking just a little too much of himself to try and thread that ball through. He was, uh, he was a bit over-ambitious, but I like his thinking. Neymar! Neymar! One of a type! He's brilliant! Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! And they get themselves in front! That is a fine goal, really efficiently done. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. In it goes! And already they're looking to run away with it! A lovely header, but really it was all about the delivery. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Paris Saint-Germain, two up and into a position of real strength. Well, I think that two-goal cushion they've just manufactured is a fair reflection of what we've seen up to now. It also adds to the, the psychological divide between the two teams. It could make a big difference. Away from immediate danger. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Tries a through ball. There really wasn't very much in that. Not far away from being a telling final ball. By taking that route into a central position, he made it easier for the defence. They are rampant! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Oh, an absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. That defence must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. 
Paris Saint-Germain grab a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. Paris Saint-Germain are leading with half-time drawing close. Van de Veer. And he's there to hoof it away. Marquinhos gets it away. Cavani passes it through. Lucas Moura has it out wide and in space. Lucas Moura. Ibrahimovic hits it! Ibrahimovic! It could only be him! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! What about that, Jim Beglin? Look, you can all. No mistake! And they are disappearing out of sight! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Paris Saint-Germain totally rampant here. Lucas Moura goes for the cross. A decent effort as the first half draws to a close. Paris Saint-Germain have run riot in the first half and barring a miraculous comeback, they have done the job already. And we're underway again. Neymar. Iniesta. Neymar. Marquinhos does well to read it and intercepts. Lucas Moura. Now the pass. Here it is now, surely. Gorgeous from Cavani. Ruthless and relentless. Utterly rampant. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. He snaffles his third and that earns him the match ball. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch and devastating in front of the goal. What a display, what a player. Pastore. Now it's Lucas Moura. Lucas Moura. Puts it into the middle. Barcelona emerge on skate. They were right up against it. Good idea, just poorly executed. Hoists it high. That's a decent ball. Not the worst header in the world, but nothing comes of it. Look, there are some very good headers of the ball in this team now, and they'll be demanding the right delivery to give them a chance to Off have to the go post. At this. Neymar puts it forwards. De Ville, looking up to see who wants it, into the channel, played out wide, it's Cavani, really well taken goal, well the cross was inch perfect and the header unerring. Yeah I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved, he gave it everything he had. Four in the game, he is the man. Play for a throw. Looks like a good ball through. Aurier looking to get on the end of this. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Neymar. And it's Luis Suarez. Paris Saint-Germain yet to make a change here. Marquinhos. Cuts it out. Pastore. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Pastore displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. 
you have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing but instead he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here uh, the ball needed to be better there it's a wasted chance Neymar boots it upfield tries a through ball Luis Suarez Neymar's cross that's not going to find its target change here, a man waiting to come on. Neymar, fired in from distance, and that's past the post. <laughs> Aim forward, Luis Suarez. Neymar, it's a good-looking cross. Is it out of harm's way? Marquinhos positions himself well and cuts it out. Now it's Lucas Moura. A real chance to break. PK. Vermaelen. Knocks it towards the front. Now it's Cavani. It's a goal kick. Yes, the referee concurs. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Arda Turan. There's a lot to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Arda Turan with the ball through. Genius of Luis Suarez! Luis Suarez with the smoothest one-on-one -on -one finish. He is one very cool customer. Well, although the keeper looked an imposing figure then, he remained totally unfazed and took the chance with great ease. Barcelona grab a goal, but it's hard to see it as anything much more than a consolation. Spoon forward. Just about here, the collective sigh there. They know they got away with one. Now the pass. Thiago Motta. Maxwell. Looks to slip it through. And he's cut it out. Maxwell. It's a long forward pass. Offside, I think. Yes, it is. Marco Verratti passes it through. Now can he finish? Cavani. Iniesta. Cavani! And time is up. Paris Saint-Germain, a class apart, opponents torn apart, they are comprehensive winners. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? At times it was like Groundhog Day, because of their continuous success in using wit as the best route to goal. It worked a treat and it, it looked a treat.
Another point I can make is that the foundations for this win were placed near both touchlines.